ready? Yeah. Why don't you want to talk to him? I remember him in court. Oh, yeah. He'll like you more, Mel. I don't know why I'm here. We're very sorry to have to put you through it all again, Martin. But... You were the principal eyewitness in the case against Carl McKenzie. That makes you a very important person. No, it makes me a very important witness. You couldn't give a shit about the person, so please don't pretend that you do. There are outstanding questions the original investigation didn't answer. Well, don't knock DCI Nesbitt. He was a good guy. Martin, nobody's knocking anybody. We're just trying to understand what happened. <sighs> it was uh, Saturday morning. We'd just done the weekly supermarket shop. My wife got into the driving seat while I put the shopping into the back of the car. Did your wife normally drive? Uh, we sort of took it in turns. Uh, I got into the passenger seat. And when I looked up, I saw this guy holding a machine gun. According to your statement on December the 8th, you threw yourself across your wife. I was... I was too slow. It saved your life. The other bullet went into your seat. Yeah. But if I'd just been a bit quicker... It sounds to me as if you had little choice. I heard her groan. And there was blood trickling down her nose, and she was trying to speak. You must have been terrified. Yeah. You weren't injured at all? No. Uh, in that respect, I was very lucky. But for the next half an hour, I lay there while my wife died next to me. would have heard the engine, surely. Yeah, yes, he would. He was right there, right in front of me. You could see him. Well, I was playing dead most of the time. Sorry, you, you had your eyes closed? Well, I suppose so. <sighs> then you couldn't have seen Carl. <clears throat> That's enough, no. I didn't say that. I said... Most of the time. Did you or did you not see Carl McKenzie? Yeah, just wrap it up now, Mel. Yes, I did. You want to know how I can remember? Please, yes. Because every time he fired the gun, every time he fired the gun, I thought the bullet was for me. Yeah, wrap it up, Mel. So I couldn't help open my eyes. Wrap it up, Mel. Okay, thank you, Mr. Corbin. Interview terminated 10.45.